hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to demonstrate uh, how how can we expert port number 21 which is for which is a ftp port so for example if uh, we found a, a port number uh, 21 is open in any server or any network and if port is uh, vulnerable like uh, the uh, the service running on the port number 21 is uh, vulnerable then how we can uh, find uh, how we can exploit uh, the vulnerability to gain uh, access on a server so let's get start so to demonstrate uh, this vulnerability i am using metasploitable 2 uh, vulnerable uh, virtual machine so first of all we need to ip of the particular machine so let's say i am uh, in, inside a network and uh, this particular uh, vm is also inside the same network so uh, so how can we get the ip of the, of the vm so first of all we uh, just we need to check our own IP. So we are currently in a IP range of 29.0. Okay. So to get IP of this VM, uh, we simply run on uh, net discovery. Net discovery is a utility which which is you know get all the IPs which are currently available in your network. So for that I, I uh, for that I am running net discovery as a sudo user. Then I'll pass uh, my network adapter which is VLAN 0 so it will, will send a ICMP command a ICMP uh, ping to each and every host in the particular range and it will find which are the IPs is live so here we, we get uh, 29.150 IP which is live so it, it can be possible that uh, the, our VM is running on this particular IP so just stop the scan and let's run first of all nmap on this ip okay so by running the nmap we found this much port are open in the in this particular ip so first of all we try to enumerate the service version of ftp here you can see the vulnerable machine is running uh, 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 this ftp server version which is ftp uh, vs ft pd 2.3.4 so first of all let's uh, let's search the particular version in a search exploit utility and see if any public uh, if any exploit is available so here you can find two exploits available the first one is a return in a python which is dot py and second was written in a ruby so and also you can see the ruby uh, the expert written in a ruby use the metasploit uh, framework so there are possibility like in the metasploit framework uh, the expert is already there so which is you no know, very uh, which is uh, simple as compared to uh, run the manual uh, script so i'm just opening the uh, msf console Yeah, so Metasploit is uh, open. Now we need to search in the particular version. So I'm copy the version name and search in inside the Metasploit. So here you can see the exit versions uh, is is the vulnerable to command in the execution. So let's try to use the particular module to exploit port number 21 so first of all you need to uh, set some options like uh, here you can see the two options is uh, required which is our host our host basically the remote host so our remote host ip is 29.150 so we set our host as 150 and the second thing is the port number which is already set to 21 now in some of the expert you can also uh, have an option to set the target for example if you target a linux base or a windows base or any other uh, like uh, mac os so in some expert you also have a option to choose the expert target but here the expert type target is by default or automatically selected so here we set the r host the ip of our uh, virtual machine and the R port is already set to 21 so now we need to just uh, type exploit to run the particular payload 
and as you can see the payload is successfully executed now we just uh, run any linux command like id and you can see we are currently inside the uh, vulnerable world vm yeah so that's all so how so this is how you can uh, use any uh, publicly available exploit to uh, get in a, to exploit the uh, any port for example here we demonstrate the port number 21 uh, the similar way you can just find out uh, any other exploit for example uh, if port 22 is open and any vulnerable service is running on the port 22 then the similar way you can exploit port number 22 to get into the network that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video